Hi, this is Renee Olivia, and in this video, we're going to talk about dermaplaning. If you don't know anything about it, stick around because I'm going to go over everything you need to know, including the benefits of dermaplaning, who should be doing it, who should not be doing it, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial of exactly how I do it so you know exactly what to use and exactly how I do it. So stick around because everything you need to know is right here. But first, for all things beauty and fashion, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you never miss a video I post every week. Also, check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I would really appreciate it. And let's get started. Okay, before we get to the benefits and all the good stuff, I just wanna give you a little bit of background on me in case you've never been to my channel before. I uh, just turned 50 in February. And so my channel is all about beauty, fashion, and all of that stuff. So my face, which you're gonna see um, later on in the video without any makeup, without any, and nothing, it's completely bare. You will see what my skin looks like um, when I'm doing the tutorial. So that being said, let's start with the benefits of dermaplaning. Number one, it helps to penetrate those products so much better into your skin. Number two, it helps to get rid of all that little baby hair that's on your face. And trust me, we all have it. And as you get older, you get more of it. That Those little baby hairs collect dust, they collect pollen, they collect all the pollutants and the oils and the dirt. So getting rid of that is gonna be so much better for your skin. Number three, it helps promote smoother skin, which especially at our age, if you're anywhere over 40, even over 30, you want smooth skin. And trust me, after dermaplaning, your skin feels like baby soft. Number four, it is great at getting rid of the dead skin and dead cells on the top layer of your skin. This is so important. It's basically an, an, another alternative to exfoliating. So if you like to exfoliate and get all of those that dead skin off, this is perfect for that. Number five, it does help reduce the, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which at my age, I love anything that helps with that. Okay, so now let's talk about who should not be doing this. Um, and this is just something that you want to keep in mind of really know your skin. Like if you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend doing this. If you want to try it, I would go to your dermatologist and have them do it professionally. Also, if you're someone who is prone to breaking out or having bad acne, I would not suggest doing this at all. And number three, if you're having a lot of hormonal issues, which creates, uh, I think, more hair on your skin, I would recommend not doing it. Again, talking to your dermatologist. Actually, you should be talking to your dermatologist, period. Anything that has to do with your skin and you're not comfortable with it, you should be talking to your doctor, period, the end. Okay, and one more thing that I wanna clear up before I get to the tutorial on how I do it is it's a huge myth that if you shave your face the way I'm gonna be doing it with the dermaplaning that it will grow back thicker and black. Not true at all. I don't know who came up with this, but it's completely false. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so here is my freshly washed face. I put some toner on it. A um, few things, don't mind the big box in the back around. That is going to be a new wardrobe hanging kind of dresser, I guess you would say. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then of course you see my lovely clothes just hanging there. So apologize for all that, but let's get started. Um, again, you want to make sure your face is fully and freshly cleaned, dried, and then put a toner on as well. So these are the um, ones I bought. I bought them on Amazon. These are really safe. Um, it comes with a little guard. You can take off and on. And this is what it looks like. Let's see if you can see. I think you can. Pretty. It looks a little scary, but it's not. So. So what we're gonna wanna do is you wanna do your whole face. All right, so I usually just start like right here and I'm gonna kind of look in my mirror over here. It's a little easier for me to see. You wanna go at a perpendicular. You don't wanna go straight on like this. Look, look at all that hair right now. I just did a few, oh my God, I haven't done this in so long. Okay, so let's keep going and you're just gonna keep doing it. 
very gently. Oh my goodness. I love it. So refreshing. All right. Look at this. It's amazing. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to keep doing that all over. Even here. Under your chin. And then I also do in between my eyebrows. I'm going to do my whole face, but I'm going to just do it separately. So what you want to do, this is a little bit more difficult. So you want to do it like this. And like I said before, your hair is not going to grow back thicker and darker. That's a myth. So don't ever be afraid about that. And you're just going to keep going. I don't go too far up. I don't want to do. Also, look at these roots and the gray hairs. I apologize. I'm getting my hair done next week. But yeah, you're just going to keep doing this. And the other thing is, I do um, put self-tanner on my face. And so this is another great thing that it, it's really good about getting rid of any excess. Look at the hair that's under here. This is awesome. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now you can do either way, whatever you feel most comfortable. You can go with the hair or you can go against the hair going up. I just personally find it easier to go with the hair instead of against it. Same benefits, so don't like get caught up in that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my whole face, um, but you get the gist. You really just wanna pull like the, the skin taut and then just do all over. And you're just gonna continue to do that throughout your whole face. And then I'll show you the after with the makeup. I wanted to show you one other thing actually before I do that. Obviously the upper lip is something that most women need to do as well. So I just wanted to show you how I do it. Be very careful and I cannot talk while I'm doing this, okay? Couple more things. Um, it doesn't hurt, so if you're worried about that, it does not hurt. And also, um, you should be doing this every three to four weeks. You don't have to do this weekly unless you really, really feel the need to. Um, two weeks is great, but I usually do it every three to four weeks and it's great. And while we're at it, why don't we just also do the neck as well? I don't know about you guys, but I definitely get hairs on my neck and my chin at this age. Okay. We're getting there. Okay, so I'm all done. I just recommend you putting the razor back in its little case. Uh, you can reuse these, I would say a, a two to three times, depending, you know, you can tell if it's a little dull. These are really inexpensive. I'll list them down below um, for you to check out and a couple other ones that people are loving. But look at my face, it looks so good. I feel like it really does take years off of your looks. It's just, it's great. But make sure to wash your face after because you're gonna have all of those little baby hairs um, all over. And then you're also getting all the dirt and the excess skin off. So you wanna make sure that you wash your face and then go ahead with your normal routine that you, your skincare products and your makeup. Okay, so that was my video on dermaplaning. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it a little bit helpful, a lot helpful. I do wanna hear your thoughts on it. If you've tried it, what you thought about it. 
If you think it's completely horrible, whatever, I want to hear about it. So leave a comment down below. And also, again, if you're not subscribed and you like these kind of videos, I, it would be so amazing if you subscribe. I would love it and I would be so appreciative. So anyway, I hope I see you all next week. Bye.